Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock, and I'm here with Jalenja Rijal, UC entomologist who just gave a great presentation to growers addressing the biology and management of walnut husk fly in the orchard, and here's Jalendra with a few insights. The main important point that I want to share with the grower about the husk fly is that the monitoring, close monitoring is very important um, because the husk fly does not depend on the temperature for their de development. Um, so we don't have any degree to model. So what we have is, uh, is a trap and we can use the trap as a base for a spray program. And then the trap itself is not also very effective as compared to most of the pheromone trap or the pheromone trap we have for other fish. So with that reason, close monitoring um, of the husk fly is very important to make uh, spray decisions. Um, and in terms of spray program, um, once you see the fly, you definitely plan to, to spray. But at the same time, what product that you will use um, is also very critical. Um, this is because the walnut husk fly emergence, we are basically targeting the adult. So the emergence period starts from June through September. So we have long time window that we need to, be, we need to cover uh, in terms of control. So we likely need multiple sprays. And then if we, if we choose the insecticide that are in rotation and, uh, and that are different chemistries, that will help to, to uh, reduce the you know, chances for resistant development. So those are the couple of things that uh, we need to do very closely. Thanks, Shalendra. Learn more about integrated pest management in the orchard by reading your monthly issue of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com